Hey guys, in the last tutorial we finished up the Entity Manager and this is not really a tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to use that class or the engine I mean so in your tutorials the H we can uh, include the file Entity Manager the H and then under the DX Manager we'll, you'll want to create an entity uh, object uh, of a pointer and then you'll, you'll create an object or entity manager and if you want you can put a position it doesn't matter so to you but most important you include these two and the entity manager the H file and then in your CPP file go to your win main function once you find it and inside here under you know once under the else statement when I said initialize under the create sprite we don't want to get the entity object and set that equal to the entity manager that gets the object with that and you, and you can pass in the width and height because remember the entity manager that get entity it returns an array of the entity I will show you right now real quick it will return it the array of entity of that certain number when you're going here I, I already explained it so I'm not going to really explain it again so you will get that you we don't really have to set the health it's up to you but most importantly you want to set the the file name and you don't want to set the animation set it to zero and then you want to set the position if you actually included the position and then after that you will not want to mess up with the MG entity class anymore you don't want to mess up with the G entity manager so you will set that update and that's because you already since already is managing our update already for that certain entity so we only have to call that update and not the update of the entity so make sure you don't do that and for a render the same thing the G entity manager the render and pass in the position and like I said it already renders that function for a certain entity in the array since when you call the get entity it already sets a it already includes the object in, in, a, in the array and it will update it for you so you don't really have to call the g underscore entity update and once you compile it you will have a Mario. Well, I, I included a file name of Mario, a uh, texture. So it's right here. So yeah, so I'm just gonna. Sh I'm just showing you that it actually works. So you can even do this. I just so you could look like it actually is moving. I don't have an animating, so I don't want to create this complicated thing here. So I'm just showing you that it actually works. And I'm gonna show you another one that actually is the same that I use the same thing, the DX Manager. That's where I got most of my information from. And I created a game that I already had already created before, and it's a Mario game, of course. I'll show it to you real quick. So I got Koopas and Goombas here. I don't have the parallax completely right yet, but I'm just, and the collision still not that good yet. But I'm just just showing you that it actually works. yeah and so basically we're already done with this tutorial I'm thinking on the next tutorial I'm thinking of creating a, a pathfinding uh, showing you how to do one because I'm, every time I look into one there's always like in YouTube or whatever they're always showing you what they did with the uh, uh, pathfinding I know most of us don't know how to do one so I'm gonna create a video on how to create a simple pathfinding I'm gonna have to go into it mine and Try to figure out how to explain it to you guys, because since pathfinding is not that simple. But I'll put it as simple as I can. So when I'm ready for it, I'll put a video on it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time then. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions on these on my on my tutorials, then let me know and I'll explain it as my, explain it to you. So then but other than that then we're done for this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one then. See you guys.